Let's do it. Let's get stuff moving. What happens when you move onto your boat, then immediately find out you can't live on your boat? Well, that's what's just happened to us. Let's back up a bit. This is our place before we got the boat. It's this big old farmhouse converted into a bunch of apartments. And yeah, you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. But it's got character. Then last summer, summer 2020, after four years of planning, we finally got a boat big enough to live aboard. But we weren't ready to move aboard yet that fall, so instead we got a roommate just to take the edge off of our rent and mortgage. So he got the bedroom and we squished into the living room. With the boat tucked away in a marina in North Vancouver, we would hang out on it when we could, which wasn't much for me because I'm studying electrical engineering in school and, well, virtual school now thanks to the pandemic, but I don't have a lot of extra time to say the least. Then when our roommate moved out this winter, we decided to try a different approach. This time we would sublet the whole apartment for six months and move on to our boat full time. And this plan even comes with an escape route back to our apartment after six months, just in case our liveaboard situation doesn't work out. So we packed all our stuff, put a few things in storage, and we moved on to our boat. And then woke up with COVID. Of course, the vaccines haven't rolled out yet, and we were plunged into a mandatory 10-day quarantine, which was effective immediately. And while quarantining, we received news that our liveaboard application was denied. That was one week ago. When I finish school, we can take off sailing for the summer, but in the meantime, we have to figure out how not to live on our boat for two whole months. So, we're looking at hotels. There's a hotel in Burnaby that's actually really close to my campus. Yeah, that'll be good. And then I'll have, this is my exam week. We'll be back on the boat. I don't want to be on the boat for your exam week. It'd be better if we were in the hotel for your exam week. Okay. So should we do three weeks at the hotel then? That oh, gives us 50% off. And it's a really good hotel. They do a... Um, I don't know what they do. But it's a good hotel. I, I mean, we it's are a... saving a few thousand dollars by not having liveaboard fees. Hey! <laughs> it is nice to have them. They are so sweet. But they should get jobs, you know? <laughs> okay, so... First things first, let's um, let's renew our our mortgage. Look at this guy. He's a wiry guy. Oh, he's got claws too. I need my phone to hotspot. Oh, 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 oh! Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to get my drink because I was worried you were gonna knock it over. I'm sorry. Come on, that's a hell of a scratch. Look at that. Whoa. You got me good. Restaurants, pubs, and bars are closed for indoor dining. What? When is this? This is as of today. Thank you for calling, Hi, Linda. This is Zachary speaking. How are you today? Um, I'm wanting to book a room. Awesome. And uh, also, we have two cats. Okay. So we are packing up. This sucks. Hold up. So we are packing up to head to the hotel. For three weeks. And then after three weeks. Hey, don't do that. I don't know. This is a bummer. Let's do it. Let's get stuff moving. Is he out there? Yeah, he's right here. 
What are you doing, buddy? He's doing what cats do. We have about three weeks left. That'll bring me to the end of my current semester. Then I have one week break and then I start a four week term after that. And then I'm done. And the last month has been so crazy. Getting sick, isolated on the boat, getting rid of our apartment and then not knowing where we're gonna live and then everything's been so up in the air and like stressful. Now that we're here at the hotel, it's gonna be really helpful to get back on track with school. So we've been here, this is our third day at the hotel, and we've just discovered that there is a fridge, and there's water in it. This is good because we can't afford to be ordering food, so we've been eating crackers and <laughs> like... 
this stuff right here. Crackers, chocolate, caffeinated chocolate. This stuff is great. And pistachios. Now we can have food in the fridge, which is pretty cool, don't you think, buddy? I am just about to leave uh, to go to campus and uh, to do my presentation 2.30 this afternoon. So So I'm just in an empty classroom at school, two hours until the presentation. So I am sitting here with my third coffee and I just wanted to check in real quick. I did my presentation yesterday and it did not go well. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, heavy stuff going on right now. I don't know how much of it I'm going to talk about. It's been rough is all. and. Uh, I'm just trying to make it through the rest of the semester. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I feel so guilty doing a little bit of vlogging because I'm so behind in school and I shouldn't be doing this. Is you know. So all this is just getting put on my computer and I'm not editing anything uh, until school is over. Now that the presentation's over, I kind of need to lay out my plan of attack for school for the next two weeks because that's all that's left and hopefully get everything done and make it through.